this is Nick. He's uh, got a Creel 18, and it had been anti-fouled somewhere along the line. And he was telling me about the hassles he'd had with uh, getting the anti-foul off. And I said, well, why not try the lemon peel? Um, and uh, anyway, he has. And I'll hand you over to Nick to tell you what, what his thoughts are on the different uh, paint strippers. Yeah, thanks, Dave. When I originally got the boat, when I was going to respray it, she'd been anti-fouled to the top of the bootstrap line. And just to get that off to there, so I could paint it and then decide to do whatever I want to do after, here afterwards. I tried uh, sanding it off. Uh, that didn't really work, or not easily, it was messy. I tried uh, the orange peel paint stripper. That didn't touch it. It just made no difference. It put blue everywhere. I tried the poly strip, which is pretty severe. And even then, with a carbide tip scraper, I could get a fair bit of it off. Then I'll try the orange peel, get a bit more of it off, and then it was 80 grit sanding to get the rest of it off. Um, and I tried the and there's a patch up the front where I gave it two twin minute applications. Yep. And with my little scraper, I'm straight down to the um, uh, to the gel coat. Much easier. Brilliant. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think anything would shift it. I thought I was going to have to hand sand it the hard way to get it off, but this has been brilliant. I've been really, really happy with the result that I've got so far. All right, thanks, mate. We're going to do some test on Andy Fell today, and we're going to test orange peel, poly stripper, and lemon peel. And personally, I wouldn't put poly stripper anywhere near gel coat because it'll eat it, soften it, and melt it really easily. Now, I've never used the orange peel before, and the lemon peel, I'm confident, will work. Um, we've got um, Nick's boat here and we've masked off three areas he's tried all sorts of things the orange peel the poly stripper and the lemon peel and the poly stripper and uh, orange peel hardly touched it it's got three to four layers of anti foul on it plus it's got some polyurethane sprayed over the top from when the boat was painted so we're going to hit it with lemon peel that end orange peel and poly stripper we'll cover them up and then uh, try them every 20 or so minutes. Right, we've applied set. the lemon peel on the left hand side, the orange peel in the centre and the poly stripper on the right hand side. If you look, it's aggressively attacked the polyurethane, but it'll be interesting to see how it goes with the anti -fail. So what we'll do now, we'll leave these an hour. And the poly stripper went on first. It's now 10.59, so I started putting it on at uh, 10... 48 so we'll leave it an hour and see how it goes. Oh look how the Look how the orange peels peeled the um, tape back <laughs> It doesn't like it and I expect all three of them to do that That's why I used the duct tape deliberately because I know that they will tend to pull it back and remove the adhesive and melt it to a degree So let's see how it's they now go. 1130 uh, The poly stripper has really taken to the polyurethane which doesn't surprise me it's fairly fresh and uh, it'll lift off easier than the anti -fail. orange peel hasn't been as anywhere near as aggressive on the poly but doesn't look like it's done hardly anything down on the anti -fail. the poly strip it looks like it started to the lemon peel it's taken to the polyurethane pretty well and it's starting to bleed through into the anti -fail. So the idea, especially for the lemon peel, is it's got to stay wet. While ever it's wet, it'll keep working through layers of paint. So it doesn't matter if you cover it up overnight. But in this case, left it uncovered. We've got probably about close on 30 degrees C in the sun here at present. But we'll see how it goes. Lemon peel seems to have dried out more, and that could be because it's soaked into the paint more. The orange peel is still very, very wet, and the poly stripper, it's probably in between the lemon peel and the uh, orange peel. We'll do a quick scrape on each. I'm not going to take too much. But, uh, yeah, see, it's, it's lifted the, this is the poly strip, and it's lifted, lifted the polyurethane off the anti all right, but the anti is still stuck well. Let's give the orange peel a go. Actually, that's worked better than the poly strip. See how it's wet underneath? 
uh, this is quite dry underneath so it's not too bad the lemon peel let's give him a bit of a scrub oh look how that's lifted off it's even taken the anti fowl away with it we're nearly back to gel coat there look at that so it's eaten right in and I think that's why it's uh, not as wet as the other two so we'll leave it a bit longer and see how we go okay it's now um, midday and we've had the paint strippers on for a, an hour if you look at the poly stripper there's quite a bit of red coming through the orange peel it's just starting to come through and the lemon peels come through quite a bit as well so we'll do some more scraping we might scrape the other end this time and see how it goes so we'll do the lemon peel first Yeah, see it's just starting to come through but it's still a little hard uh, to scrape off my, my concern with that is that the lemon peel is drying out we really need to put it probably needed to put it on a little bit thicker the uh, orange peel let's give him a scrape uh, it's gone nowhere we're hardly even breaking through it it's a lot wetter so if you look at the a lemon peel it's fairly dry but it's lifted it the orange peels a lot wetter but it, it hasn't lifted the paint off so and now we'll give this fella a go the poly stripper it's, oh, it's starting to get there but if you look it, it's nowhere near as clean as what the lemon peels done So we'll leave it another half hour and see how we go. I've done another scrape. I put the camera down and did another scrape. Notice how the lemon peels back to bare gel coat. The orange peel is nowhere near back to bare gel coat. There's a couple of patches showing through. And the poly stripper, it's still not. See there's still lumps of paint there. So I'll leave it another half hour and see how we go. But the lemon peel's looking pretty good at this stage. Okay, we've now been on there an hour and a half, and I'm going to give it a good scrape. So I'll put the camera down while I get into it. Oh, we'll do we'll do a quick one while I'm out. So this is the poly stripper. No, it's still it's still struggling. Oh, we got a bit off there, uh, but it, you'll see it's mainly just taken the top layer off um, and and left the rest there. But it's not too bad. We're getting back to gel coat. Let, let's give the orange peel. It still needs quite a bit of aggression to get it off. It, it's still struggling. We'll give the lemon peel a go. Let, let's get in here. Yeah, see we're, we're, we're getting that off nicely there now. This is a lemon peel when it's come off. You can see it's taken off the multiple layers by the colours and it's fairly dry. I normally say cover it with plastic but we wanted to try all three uncovered in this experiment. And, but it, it's, it's not overly wet. You look at the, the orange peel and it's real wet and gooey and it's basically only taken the top layer off. So if you look where we've taken the lemon peel off, it's pretty well right back to gel coat where we've had a decent layer and it still wants to peel off I, I haven't used too much aggression there with the orange peel it, it's basically only taken one layer off and it's gooey and it's horrible and messy stuff so the the poly strip we'll give that a go now and we'll use the new page and uh, give it a scrape so we'll get down towards the bottom here Sit. See, again, it's peeled the top layer off. It's peeled the poly off quite well. So the top layer there is polyurethane. But it's a gooey mess underneath. It, it really hasn't cut through where there's a decent layer of the anti-foul. It's just taken the top layer off and left it a sticky mess. Gah, that could get real messy. So, um, overall, I, I think... I think 
I'm very biased and intend to stay that way, but I think the lemon peel's done a much better job than these two. They're all left at the same time. If anything, the lemon peel probably had a bit more of a problem towards the stern there where it looks like the, the paint was a little bit thicker. But uh, yeah, done nowhere near the job the lemon peel's done. So poly strip, orange peel and lemon peel. And a lot easier to clean up with the lemon peel, I can tell you. I've washed it off with hot soapy water now. You can see where the lemon peel's been. It's a lot cleaner. Could still do with a little bit more, and I reckon it would have worked a lot better if it was covered. But I wanted to do all three of them, give them an equal chance. Uh, didn't do too bad, but I'm sorry. The orange peel's got a long way to go. And that's it, folks. Mm -hmm.